New at 6, WHIO about to take you along for a really cool tour we went on today. Self-driving car technology, just part of this just-completed Logan County Automotive Research Center. Here's Jim Otte with a story you'll see only on News Center 7. We're just outside of East Liberty. We're here on the grounds of the Transportation Research Center. The new facility here called the Smart Center. Take a look from high above. You'll see how big this place is and what's been added to make it so unique. We recognize a need for a dedicated facility specifically for connected and automated vehicles. We had a lot of features already at the facility, but we needed something a little bit special for those automated vehicles, something that more replicated downtown city blocks, signalized intersections, things that we didn't have here. We were here one year ago this week when they opened another part of this facility. This is all a giant outdoor laboratory that lets car companies design and test cars that see each other electronically on the road. They can avoid each other at intersections and can even drive themselves. So it's good to have a large open expanse of flat asphalt where you're not going to drive off the edge. You have room to set up courses and drive at the limit. And now take a ride to the newest part of this facility, a massive, wide open, perfectly flat track that gives them a lot of flexibility. They can set up a road course any way they want. Engineers from around the world now come here to put cars to the test so they can be better designed. When will we see fully automated cars on the road? That same question, that's what everybody wants to know. When will it be mainstream? And I get that same sort of answer. We're getting closer, but it could easily be 20 years away. We're seeing some of this new technology now in showrooms. If you go to look at new cars, you see this technology that was perhaps tested and even perfected right at this facility. In East Liberty, Jim Otte, New Center 7.